Chapter 8. What to look for when buying sprinting gear and apparel. Having the right gear when sprint training will help you run faster and avoid injury, but having the wrong gear will slow you down and can actually cause injuries. That's why taking your time and selecting the right gear at the beginning is so important to your success as a sprinter. It's also why we're taking the time in this course to discuss the gear that you will need. Running Spikes These are the most important part of your sprinting gear, so we're going to spend the most amount of time discussing them. Spikes are special running shoes that are designed for various field and track events, so you need to look for one specifically for the distance you'll be running. You should be able to find what you need at a sports or running specialty store. Spikes provide traction between you and the ground right where you need it. In sprinting, all the spikes are on the front part of your foot to allow you to grip the track and launch yourself forward with every stride. They have a lot of spikes compared to other running shoes and rarely have any in the heel portion of the foot since you don't need them there. Try on a few pairs before settling on what you buy. Most sprinters prefer to have their spikes to be snug compared to other types of training shoes in other events. Some even get spikes a full size smaller than the other running shoes. Although it's up to you to decide. Keep in mind that as you're running fast, you want your shoes to be with you 100% and not have any looseness that could trip you up. This will easily be your biggest investment when it comes to sprinting gear. While high-end spikes will easily cost you $100 or more, you can find a decent pair for around $50. However, these shoes should last you for several years, which makes them well worth the investment if you need to have to replace some of the spikes along the way. Running Shorts The most important thing about running shorts for sprinting is that they are made of a material that is breathable, comfortable and flexible. For training, they are really the only thing that matters. For racing, you will usually want something that is form-fitting as to limit your wind resistance. If you are planning on sprinting in competitions, it's a good idea to also practice in your racing clothes for familiarity. Running Shirts Everything that applies to running shorts also applies to shirts. The biggest thing to keep in mind when choosing a shirt for sprinting is that you want to make sure you are able to move your shoulders freely. This is why you see many Olympic athletes using vest or sleeveless uniforms. Warm up and cool down clothes. Because spikes are designed specifically for sprinting, you don't want to wear them during your warm up or cool down sessions as this will make those harder and put more wear and tear on your spikes. So be sure to bring regular training shoes for those times as well as sweats or other comfortable clothes that you can wear before and after your sprint training.